G'day guys, welcome to this week's weekly developer update. I'm CW and joining me we have Armenio. How are you mate? Yeah, doing pretty well, doing pretty well. It's good to hear. Um, we've seen a little bit of activity on the full node front. So um, Mr. Aberg, our, our favourite developer cat's been um, in, pretty lively in the chats of late and uh, sort of a nice update here on um, the Satergo wallet. So let's maybe discuss that. Yeah, yeah. One uh, tool that uh, Satergo uh, put together was ergonodes.net and mm -hmm. uh, you can go in and uh, look at all the different nodes that uh, you know are either online, offline. Uh, total number cool of nodes. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the total number is like twenty four hundred plus, and not that all of them are online, but that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, uh, I do think that uh, yeah, there's been some begging <laughs> for Adberg to connect the uh, DAB connector to that full node wallet. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, th I think it'll happen in time, hopefully. But uh, you know, th those of you out there that want the best assumptions run your own node. Yeah, most definitely. Right. I've had a couple of people re reach out to me, actually, in uh, making that request, having ErgoPay integration into the full node so they can um, participate in the DeFi sort of ecosystem here on Ergo, whether that's just buying NFTs or jumping onto one of the various lending protocols, et cetera. Um, be a big addition for that full node security and uh, just that little bit of peace of mind. No, I think it's one of the most important things we can teach to new uh, crypto users is the importance of running your your own node, right? Having your own kind of trusted setup locally versus relying on who or what in this yeah. space. Yep, yeah, exactly. You know, it's just best assumptions. Yeah. And the cool thing is that um, it in addition to having that full node security, you can run actually in, like a lot of infrastructure as well. Um, obviously, <clears throat> being able to uh, directly communicate with the, the blockchain itself, but you can run off-chain bots, um, have the mixer running, like numerous other things, which is a pretty cool a little um, incentive, additional incentive to be able to run that infrastructure as well. Yeah, yeah. It's a decentralized network at the end of the day. I know there's a lot of people out there that look at... Uh, you know, blockchain cryptocurrency and they think, hey, I'm going to just buy it and hope the price goes up. But it is a peer to peer network. Right. And uh, you're always welcome to be a peer. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, just uh, quickly before we jump into the update, what's your favorite Ergo node name on ErgoNodes.net? <laughs> well, that's a bad question to ask me. I know what my least favorite is, but, you know. What could I do? Um, I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to look. I, there's a lot of people out there that were running, you know, version four and need to update, right? So if you're out there and uh, you're running a node, consider updating your jar. Or if you're, you know, pushing Satergo, that that's got some pretty nice update features built into it. Um, yeah, true. I would say the overhead in terms of, you know ease of setup it's a great build so yeah, yeah berg is a great cat developer yeah. i remember uh the first time i actually installed um the ergo node it was a little bit sort of daunting jumping into linux and running some sort of C um, command line sort of uh things there mm -hmm. and it was a little bit daunting but ultimately it was a nice learning curve i just threw myself in the deep end and and went hammer and tong there but What's um, Aberg's done with Satergo is just basically it's an executable file. So whatever platform you're on, whether it's uh, Windows, <laughs> Mac, or um, uh, Linux, you can jump on there and away you go and do your thing. So, um, yeah, in regards to the updates as well, there is a feature in there. There's a little um, uh, little button in there that you can actually check and have automatic updates enabled. So um, it just it runs everything for you. So it's, yeah, pretty simple. Yeah, I got no laptop somewhere that's got like that's node two, but I gotta find the power core. <laughs> so you're that person running that that one node. <laughs> oh, that computer's been dead for a while. I can't find a cord for it. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. All right, too easy, mate. Well, uh, let's uh, let's jump into this week's weekly developer update. All right.
Jump over there. Okay, kicking things off, we have Satergo. So ErgoNodes.net, like we just spoke about, has an update. So the wording of the example risks of having too fewer nodes has been improved. Uh, the links were added to a guide on port forwarding uh, nodes for making them accessible and reachable for incoming connections. And it's much easier for using, um, much easier to, to using the mouse cursor focus on a point on the version market uh, share. So you chart. Um, you can see the detailed data at the point in time. So it's a nice chart on there. I think it's fantastic as well because um, you can see the amount of outdated nodes uh, that are currently running on the network and might just spark your or pique your interest then to check your version that you're running. And uh, just upcoming, the charts page will be changed to allow users to view either a period, so 30 days, 90 days, et cetera, or the entire history as is displayed right now. Awesome. I'll give him a nice little cat icon there. All right. Next, we have Captain Nemo, uh, Fleet SDK, Alpha 27 released with wallet package, added address EC point validation uh, with Nautilus, reviewed and merged PR91 from Danza, uh, working on storage written warning and consolidation tool. And that's important. We should probably take a minute that... Uh, you know, storage rent period is, you know, uh, quickly approaching. And I believe, you know, there was a off-chain bot that was used uh, sometimes in uh, Spectrum. I was going to say Ergodex, but maybe it was Ergodex at the time yeah. um, that, uh, you know, didn't properly set the height, you know, and, and so it appears older than it actually is. Yeah, so what happened there is, it basically reset the clock, I think it was, on the UTXO uh, to zero. So it hasn't been moved for, for four years, basically, or 3.8 years, something along those lines. Um, so that yeah. that was actually um, fixed in the node version 5. I think it was it was included in that update, the hard fork, uh, the soft fork, sorry, um, from memory. So that's, that's all fixed up. But, yeah, by all means, jump on and check that out because uh, Nautilus, as you can see, you can see that, that's being integrated. But if you want to check it out, you can see it on Token J or the Ergo mobile wallet as well. Um, there's a box consolidation feature in there that tells you the box age. Um, but in regards to storage rent as well, that'll be coming up in about, I think it's about 60 days from, I think it's the 20th of July, yeah. roughly. Um, so yeah, by all means, jump on and check out uh, the box ages and everything like that. And a lot of people sort of, still don't necessarily understand the storage rent aspect of um, the Ergo blockchain. And um, there's a little bit of, I wouldn't say FUD, but concern around what it is and things like that. And it's only a, a really minute amount of um, Erg per, per box for, per four years. So um, I yeah. think if you had one Erg in a box, it would take 30 years to consume that one Erg. So if you've got yeah, a number of erg in there. You've you're pretty well set for a number of years. Okay, moving on, we have Lua Vatra and the Padea beta. So cleaned up the twenty four contracts currently made for Padea. That was quite the task, but is uh, happy with the result and feel that the contracts are much easier to read and improve. So practically done with the basic checks to make sure that there are no obvious exploits. Uh, so to do before deployment, finish loose ends on dissipation-based rewards, update, create DAO transaction to account for changes made, and add refund logic to the proxy contracts. And at the current rate, expects to deploy the beta code Monday and start testing integrating. All right. Looks like next we have Green Hat. So looks like Green Hat has finished implementing the top up reward tokens in the pool box from a buyback box. A uh, work in progress is testing the top up from the buyback box. Uh, looking into ergo tree parsing fail. Looks like uh, they ran into a rust issue 707. Uh, next, fix the rest of the newly discovered issues. Looks like 262 and test the new governance simplified voting in the gold erg pool on testnet awesome 
Sim. Okay, scrolling down, we have MHS and the Rosenbridge update. Another substantial one here, so I'll take a deep breath. So on Rosenbridge Utils, so implemented a new Cardano extractor for use in the Cardano chain. Uh, the code and tests are finished and under review. Uh, a good part of the TSS sign procedure has been in, implemented with tests and are currently waiting for the TSS API to be ready for implementing the remaining parts. Onto Rosen chains, some major improvements and bug fixes are done in Rosen chains abstract chain and Rosen chains ergo. So Cardano chain implementation is now finished, now waiting for the merge of a new Cardano Rosen extractor. The Rosen chains ergo node network uh, encountered some issues with the ergo node API originated by wrong types in the node open API spec. Uh, still uh, it's working on it and trying to finish, finish that soon. Uh, Rosen Chains Ergo Explorer Network. Uh, this package is also mostly developed and working on this one too, so hopefully have it finished soon. Uh, Rosen Chains Cardano Ogmios Network. I'm assuming that's what had to pronounce that one. Uh, started the development of this package. Unfortunately, encountered critical issues with the Ogmios architecture. Uh, which increased the complexity of the implementation. As an example, when Ogmius client asks the server to send send block data starting from block X, it sends blocks starting from block X plus one. So it makes it hard for this package to be implemented as uh, simple as other network packages. Uh, it also does not provide some APIs required by the guards, uh, such as get trans transaction confirmation, uh, which are currently working on the scanner solution for that. So it's a work in progress. Uh, then on to Rosen Chains Cardano Kios network. Uh, this package is also mostly developed and working on this one. Uh, hopefully have it finished shortly. And then finally, the Rosen Guards uh, TS guard service. So just working on the setup to test refactored version of the event processor. Need full implementation of both the Rosen Chains uh, on Ergo and Rosen Chains Cardano and the ATL East one network, at least one network each for them. Uh, so they're almost done as well. So another big substantial update there and moving forward with a number of updates and uh, bug fixes, which is good to see. All right, next we got Morphic. Uh, looks like he's working towards Sigma version 5.0.8. Uh, support Scala JS and further reorg part three is merged. Uh, support Scala JS and further reorg part four is ready for review. Uh, with the app kit reviewed PR, which updates access to the Ergo Node API. Uh, with the Ergo Node reviewed two PRs. And up next is to implement multi sig and app kit based on EIP 11. That's pretty awesome. That's it. Give it in the put it in the hands of the developers. Make it easy in the app kit. Okay, next we have Kushti. And on the reference client and protocol development side, has a new PR with optimizations around insert KV pairs into history database. Uh, the last PR for bootstrapping with the UTXO set snapshot proposed for review, finally. So it's been uh, chugging away on that one for some time now has addressed comments in bootstrapping with the UTXO set snapshot 0.5. As also reviewing PRs for uh, the version node version 5.0.11 release. And then doing some remaining checks and to-dos for bootstrapping with the UTXO set snapshot. Uh, there's a new issue reported by a user with the link provided and planning a roadmap after the bootstrapping uh, with Nipper Power's release. Uh, then next on to Dexy has made code for a uh, code to update 98% of the tracker has made to do's plans uh, towards finalizing the contracts found an issue in the intervention contract and is working on a fix need to push all the updates into the repo uh, probably after generalizing the tracking boxes update code but plenty going on there 
All right, now we've got Mr. Stralfelga uh, with the Wallet app released version 2.4.2301 uh that can make use of the nodes blockchain api to keep up main functionality without the explorer that's pretty awesome yep uh, it is off by default for now select prefer node explorer api in the settings screen uh, up next is to export transactions to csv that's going to be a highly loved feature i would assume <laughs> and uh Looks like support more of the nodes blockchain API. So awesome. Yeah, a number of people have been requesting um, the ability CSV. to ex yeah, export with uh, via uh, S CSV. Sorry. Uh, so you can currently do it through SafeW. Um, but yeah, a number of other wallets, uh, the requests have been made. So it's good to see that happening on that front. Also, um, just quickly on that one utilizing the blockchain um, indexing API. So taking that reliance off a central explorer, which is uh, yeah, pretty big, especially for a, a wallet to be able to integrate that. Finally, uh, or sorry, not finally, but next up we have Pulsars. So no big update to the fleet sharp this week. It's made own implementation of some dappint interactions using it and it's all working great. That's currently working on writing a new Explorer backend indexer using uh, the entity framework in C Sharp. So ideally, someday we'll also create an API so that uh, have the full Explorer backend uh, replacement. But that is on, but the road on that one is a long one, he thinks. So yeah, take some time to sort of spec that one out. All right, who's next, Ilya? Yeah, it looks like Ilya. All right. Doesn't look like Yasha was here. I don't see emojis. <laughs> uh, looks like with the Spectrum Core finished implementation of Sigma aggregation P2P protocol, working on ledger specification and implementation. Uh, Spectrum.finance on Ergo is improving parallelization of LM uh, liquidity mining pools compounding. Uh, ecosystem services, APR metrics for pools on Cardano. So they're it's always busy over there. <laughs> Not wrong. Okay, next up, it looks like we have a low key nerd and Blitz TCG. So LGD uh, is working on the card to Blitz token exchange system using Ergo contracts. So no ICO, fair launch. Uh, closed loop economy where token supply starts at zero and tokens are only generated when cards are burned. That's almost like a proof of burn consensus algo, uh, but not exactly. <laughs> uh, it's never been done before, but could allow for a very unique economy to be created. So listen to the upcoming Ergo Pulse video uh, for more on that and the latest updates otherwise. Uh, you can also do interesting stuff like taper the token generated generated at certain hard burn points. So for example, once 100,000 cards are burned, a halving occurs when the rewards are burning or burning are reduced. Um, this contract will also be open source, of course. Fantastic to awesome. see. All right, looks like next we have Young Wolf who's... Uh asking for devs uh for a gaming website that he's uh put together he's thrown some no notes up there so if anybody is interested out there in uh helping out young wolf and uh putting together a nice gaming project uh yeah reach out yep. all right wants to eventually have soundtrack and 8-bit sounds to the game an 8-bit look but not mandatory but just the way he imagines it so or a cartoony game, so whichever. <laughs> and speaking of cartoons, we have the Comet update. <laughs> so Notmork has finally shipped a new front end for the Comet lottery with the Ergo Pay enabled. Good to see. Uh, yeah, that's the Ergo Pay enabled. Yep. Awesome. I'm impressed. It means I can degen into that again. And uh, so please note if you don't have enough Comet in your wallet to pay for the tickets, 
it wouldn't give you an error. You'll just sit there staring at the screen like an idiot. <laughs> a bigger idiot, that is. <laughs> oh, I love the banter. Uh, source code for converting an ERP-12 unsigned transaction. Build using Fleet SDK to reduce transactions copied almost line from line from almost line for line from Haley PD double L. Uh, but for those who are too smooth brain to look at it on GitHub, can also see it on the link. Uh, get wrecked, have fun, know your assumptions, support open source. Uh, this post was written by Zcast. Uh, his broken English doesn't allow him for advanced English. I think it. I think the message got across. Yeah, well done. They actually did something. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. I think that's everyone this week. Looks as such. Looks as such. Yeah, another significant update. Um, we did touch on a couple of things there also. Uh, the um, the storage rent coming in and the box consolidation, um, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, by all means, jump on and check out your uh, different wallet addresses just to make sure that you're, you're in the green there on that front. Yeah, it will be really interesting to see as we roll into that era. Um, how mining pools adapt. I think that, you know, hopefully some of that gets passed on to miners out there. Yep. Um, you know, and we kind of get a sense of, uh, you know, how that parameter starts and it is adjustable, right? So long term, yep. it's something that we can track, trace, predict, and uh, potentially miners can fiddle with to uh, kind of stabilize or increase the security subsidy of the network long term. Yep, most definitely. And if you're a miner, um, reach out to your mining pools and start asking questions around if they're going to pass on that additional subsidy and all that sort of stuff as well. So, um, yeah, start this conversation and make some noise. Yeah, please. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks, everyone, for tuning into this week's Weekly Developer Update. Joe, it's been a pleasure chatting once again. Everyone, have a good one. Always. No